Chocks and Chopettes, and in between Chopperbirds here for another video review. It's a special one. It's the new Toblerone Truffles. Yes, well, at least I assume they're new. I've not seen them before. But yeah, I got these in Asda. I think they're available. Well, I saw them available on their website, actually. They're like £20. I thought that was ridiculous. But I think that's because it's um, they have like a custom box where you can write someone's name on it or something like that. And uh, but this is the regular ones, and I'm sure they were maybe a pound or two pounds. Well, two pounds maybe. Maybe three at most. But what are they? Well, deliciously different truffle. All right, deliciously different truffle. Okay, with a deceptively angular outer and velvety smooth centre. See, it doesn't read very well. <laughs> I had to do a couple of takes with that because uh, a deceptively angular outer. I thought it was going to say outer something, but it's just an outer. Um, and deliciously different. Okay, yeah, all right. Deliciously different. Okay, well, it's interesting, but yeah, interesting. But they do look very nice. So yeah, I don't know. Interested with this one. I mean, it says um, an angular shape. I mean, I guess. It's the arc angular shape normally, aren't they, Toblerone? So it's not they aren't usually angular. So yeah, interesting. It looks very nice. I do like the little box, I must say. Um, what's this What's this going on here? Look at that. Made with honey and almond nougat. Oh, yeah, well, that's very tasty, doesn't it? Yeah. I think they look very nice. These. I like the uh, I like the way the writing uh, goes over the box, actually, to the top there. That's quite nice. I like that. Yes, I do like that. Hmm. Very interesting. What does it say here? What does it say? Anything else? Experience indulgence from every angle. Okay, that's quite a nice a slogan as well. I like it. Tobo and Boss there. I think it's embossed. Is that the way you'd say it? I think it is. That's some blurb on the bottom. That's a couple of two interest barcodes and things. Best before date, stuff like that. But what's it got here? Well, look at this. Indulgence comes in many shapes, but the greatest ones are never square. Toblerone celebrates all the quirky indulgence seekers and invites them to enjoy their edgy side one bite at a time. Wow, well, yes, consider me invited. <laughs> I'm very excited for these ones. Yeah, what's it say? Only, what's it say? Um, only for the curious, it says there. Okay, nice. <laughs> so we're truffles. We do these a lot with these sort of chocolates, don't we? I'm sure the Maltese truffles and the Galaxy truffles had similar affairs going on, but nonetheless, it gives it a bit of mystique, doesn't it? There you go, maybe I'm on less, um, or what have you. Good vegetarians, Coco Life, let's see. Well, I guess it's the Mondelez cocoa plan, and usually on Cadbury products, but obviously Cadbury is owned by Mondelez. 180 grams. Recycle the box, recycle the paper wrap, but don't recycle the plastic. All right, so uh, nutritional information, 100 grams. What's the weight of the box? 180, so yes, yeah, so there's almost twice as much as the box. So per 100 grams, I think that's 566 calories, 36 grams of fat, 19 of which are saturates. I think that's right. It's a bit hard to read that, but I think that's right. And then uh, per 27 grams, which... Um, I don't know what that is, probably fifth of the box, maybe. 150 calories, maybe 153. Can't quite tell, it's 153. 9.6 grams of fat, 5.2 of which is saturated. I think the font is a bit terrible or the typeface, whatever you want to say. It's a bit uh, bit rubbish, isn't it? A bit dubious. Definitely could be a bit clearer there. I mean, um, you know, yeah. In my eyesight, it's not the best, of course, but <laughs> even so, I've definitely had easier reads than that. So we've established 1908 truffles. Milk chocolate with milk chocolate filling, 40%. I think it's 40%, not 48. With honey and almond nougat pieces, 4%. Okay, that's 44% accounted for, so I don't know what the rest of it is. <laughs> 56 is missing. Um, there we go. All right. Other the stuff there, anything of interest? Milk chocolate milk size, 14% minimum. Made in Great Britain, cocoa non-EU. Interesting, this is honey 0.4%, I think it says there. Almonds 0.6%. Alright, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, well, I think we need to just get into these and see what they like on the inside. I'm very excited for these ones. So let's move ourselves down, give them an open. Let's do it. Okay, then everyone, gonna give these Toblerone truffles an open. Yeah, very excited for these ones. Toblerone truffles. Deliciously different truffle with a deceptively angular outer and velvety smooth centre. Alright, so let's get into them without further ado. A bit of a, well, say about further ado, a bit of a nice embossing there, I didn't mention before, I didn't quite see that. I think it's embossing, you know, you can see the bumpy waves there. I think um, I heard that uh, Turbo weren't able to show the Alps on their chocolates anymore because they're not made in uh, Switzerland. Is it the Alps anyway? Yeah, I think it's the Alps, isn't it? It's on the, but yeah, so interesting, although it does have it there still, so who knows. <laughs> Alright, let's give them opening. It seems to have a nice uh, little opening here, so let's do it. The time recording I've done about, uh, I don't know. 1,050 reviews, something like that anyway. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. In the top right the corner, I'll put a link to place all my reviews for some other related ones, maybe other Toblerone ones. Go check those out if you'd like to subscribe. Hope you enjoy those too. 
So they do remind me very much of Maltese truffles in their wrappings, and you can see there's definitely a lot of gappage there. I mean, look at that. I mean, there really is a lot of gappage there. <laughs> I mean, I'm laying some down a bit, but you can just see there's, it's, you know, definitely a good quarter, if not a third, is empty there. And of course, all the wrappers themselves. Don't forget, there's lots of excess packaging on these. Just don't mind the wrappers. I'm sure there'd be a lot. Uh, <laughs> they wouldn't, probably wouldn't even go halfway up the pack. Let's see how many we've got. They look nice, don't they? So, I feel like they look quite festive here, actually. I could imagine these. Yeah, look a bit like Twixes as well. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at least the uh, same colour scheme. Could be a Twix truffle, how about that? Alright, so what have we got? So we've got, uh, we've got what's that? What's that? So 10, 19 here, basically 19. So, yeah, not bad at all. But, uh, hmm. Alright, yeah, well, let's uh, put a couple away. Two out. Leave two out for sampling. All right. So uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Doesn't it? I mean, relatively plain, but not ridiculously so. It says turbo on the top of that, which I quite like. There's no real design on this bit. Oh, there's a bit actually. So you can see some like triangles. I think it could stand out a bit more. All right. Let's give it an open. See what it's like on the inside. Put the wrapper. That's <laughs> what so it's like basically. All right. Let's wrap it there. Like the little. Yeah, like the little paper there. There you go, look at that. Mm. Do remind me very much of uh, Maltese truffles, actually. You can see uh, those angular shapes there. Could make them little triangles, couldn't it, really? You know, but I guess, uh, well, no, you haven't. All right, let's uh, give you a measure. No, it's, it's all angular, so it's going to be a bit difficult to measure, but we'll do just a square at the bottom. 2.3. Centimetres. And height, 2.2. .2. Could be a bit higher because it's really not flat at the top, even though it might look it, it's not actually flat. It's all angles, like it said. Yeah, don't know if there's any anything else to measure really. I mean it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit awkward. I mean okay, two centimeters I think for what it's worth. Alright, so let's give it a bit of a chop in half. Oh, it chops very easily. There you go, look at that. Wow. That looks very nice actually, doesn't it? Look at that. I must say that does look beautiful. I like the look of that. Lots of little new Gary pieces. Soft uh, chocolate scent, I think it called it. Yeah, did it call it that? I think it did. Milk chocolate, milk chocolate filling. And honey and almond nougat pieces. Yeah, that looks very nice, doesn't it? Smells nice. Well, it smells like Toblerone, basically. But I guess it's just got a softer centre. You can see how thick the chocolate surround is. All right, you know what, I think we just need to give these a taste, don't we? So let's move myself up and give them a taste. Let's do it. Okay, everyone, going to give these, yes, new Toblerone truffles a taste. Very excited, these, very excited indeed. So, yeah, well, you know what, we've just got to get into it, we? I think there's uh, no need to delay. So, got one here. Let's give it an unwrap. Very tasty indeed. Oh, yes, let's give it a go. Let's do it. Mm. 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 Oh. oh wow, that is that is pretty nice actually. Mm. It's pretty nice. I think um hmm Toblerone is quite famous for being obviously new and things, you know, I wouldn't say chewy, but definitely got substance to it. Now this one, because it's a truffle sensor, that truffle sensor just kind of melts in the mouth. And I would say I I think I do prefer just chunks of Toblerone basically. I think as nice as these are, as indulgent as they are, it's got that, you know. I said the truffle is a melt in the mouth truffle, you know. Um, most truffles are there, really. I don't know, I feel like it's just not quite as a. Uh, I think I'd just prefer it if it was solid, solid chunks of tobin. But I understand why they're not. It's a different gimmick and things like this. Um, but they are nice. You can see the inside here. Very tasty looking. But I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I think for me, just a bit. A bit too ephemeral, really, which is the problem with a lot of these truffles. It's just the you know, nature of the beast, really. It's, they're just going to be like that. But, you know, it's it's one of those. The crunchy bits are nice little uh, honeycomb pieces. Can you say honeycomb? <laughs> Nougat pieces. Mm. Nice. It's um, the chocolate's quite nice as well. Mm. You've got that honey taste. They do taste nice. You know what I mean? They do taste distinctly of Toblerone. I just think maybe it's, it's just the sense of just... I don't know. I prefer the solid chocolate, I think, of a Toblerone for me. Mm. 
I think it suits. Hmm. The Toblerone experience, and they're quite sickly as well, you know. So they do follow. They do have those pitfalls that truffles tend to have, you know, being quite ephemeral, being a bit more sickly. So it's a difficult one, really. I think it's one of those where if you just really love truffles and things, it's probably for you. But for me, I've definitely called on truffles over the years because they're so common these days. They're just not as exciting as they were. If you went back, you know, 20 years, whatever, when you used to have, you know, the uh, Galaxy truffles in celebrations, which were amazing. You know, I think if you had them nowadays, they might be a bit disappointing, really, because they're so commonplace. Truffles are just there all the time in most things. Hmm. But, um... Nonetheless, these are very indulgent, they are very nice, and they have a nice silky smoothness, and I say they very much melt in the mouth, you know, but, and I think they're good to have a different take on Toblerone, it definitely gives you that, and it's not just blocks of Toblerone, which I think would, which would still be very nice, and perhaps actually I think it would be nicer, but you know, a bit more mundane really, and you can get those little mini Toblerones as it is, can't you really, so I appreciate that they've done this, I think it's different, I mean they are, generally pretty nice actually but i think just for me though, i've been there done that several times now especially through this channel you know the galaxy truffles the malteser truffles you know quite different in their own rights and all the other truffles are in the chocolate selections you know they generally all taste relatively similar you know there's been the even the cadbury jingly bells and things they've had the you know, truffles in and speaking of christmas chocolate the cadbury puds or whatever it's called you know and then all the others there's been so many of them now they're not quite as exciting and as interesting as they first were basically so it's a bit of a shame it is a bit of a shame, I must say. But nonetheless, that doesn't mean really this should detract from this too much. It's just not quite as special as it would be, basically. But I think it's nice. But long story short is, I think, not as good as regular Toblerone. It would be nice if it's just a block of Toblerone, basically. But I do appreciate the difference. And it still comes across as relatively Toblerone-like. But I just think Toblerone generally you do have that big solid chunks of chocolate, don't you? So it is one of those. But um, I think for me, the main positives are you do get that Toblerone experience, but you do also get a bit of difference. It is different, quite substantially different enough with you know, how that truffle scent has. I do think it makes a big difference, really. But you still get that lovely honey sort of sweetness and, as I said, a little crunch from the um, nougat pieces as well. The chocolate's pretty nice, but again, I think it kind of, you know, it's not... <sighs> It kind of um, gets pushed aside a bit by the truffle centre, really, because that's so sort of creamy and melt in the mouthy, you know. But the problem with that is, as I say, it does all melt away very quickly, and I feel like the thing with Toblerone is the substance there behind it, whereas this doesn't really have that. Um, but again, that's the nature of the beast, that's the thing with truffles, really. So it swings around a lot, I guess. Mm. So for me, what to rate these ones? Well, the average chocolate, I always say it's 3 out of 5, which is still a nice chocolate experience. I think for me, a Toblerone would be a 4, 4.5. Four I mean, can't quite recall what I've given it in the past, but I think a 4, 4.5, four I think, generally. I mean, these ones, you know, I think I think they're not bad. I don't think they're as good as a regular Toblerone, but I think, you know, they're certainly well above average, I think. So, well, it's certainly not a 3.5 out of 5. I think it's certainly not a 4.5 out of 5 either. So for me, meet in the middle. 4 out of 5. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Well, let me know what you reckon and whether you, what your opinions of Toblerone are. Do you think this has ruined the, the whole thing of daily experience of Toblerone? Maybe it's just not Toblerone as far as you're concerned. Let me know. Leave a comment off it. Always great to hear from you. Click on these links that's been on the screen now. Always great to support my channel also by continuing to watch my content. And have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.